This is how pertussis or whooping cough can sound. Here at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, infants are receiving the current pertussis vaccine DTaP to help guard against the disease. In the early 1990s, DTaP replaced another vaccine called DTP. It's recommended for all children beginning at two months of age. It's given in a series of five shots, and the fifth and final shot is recommended before school entry at ages four to six years. Dr. Lara Mizagadis from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and co-authors examined the relationship between pertussis and receipt of five doses of DTaP by time since the last dose of the newer vaccine. This study was conducted after California in 2010 experienced its largest pertussis outbreak in more than 60 years. Researchers reviewed vaccine histories for children 4 to 10 years old in 15 counties, comparing those who had pertussis and those who did not. They looked specifically at whether a child had completed the five-dose series or was unvaccinated. Children with pertussis were less likely to have received the childhood pertussis vaccine series compared to children who did not have pertussis. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Within one year after having received the fifth dose of vaccine, about 98% of children were protected against pertussis. But when we moved out to five years after having received the fifth dose, about 70% of children were protected. Protection faded over time. Researchers say a booster shot is also recommended starting at age 11. Pregnant women and anyone coming into contact with infants who are not fully vaccinated are also encouraged to get the booster. As with any vaccine program, researchers say it's important to continually evaluate how well it's working. The results of this study will help us make sure that we're using the pertussis vaccine program the most effective way possible to prevent as many pertussis cases as we possibly can. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.